It's, uh, but it's close. Is it, uh, does it feel kind Real of special to be back here? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. It's, it's, it's close to Omaha. You know, I, I spent a lot of time growing up here in Lincoln, uh, going to Husky games. So I, equally as much time probably as I have in Omaha. But uh, yeah, it's, it still feels special. You know, could come back, all, all my family's here. You know, my dad lives here. Um, see the family and, and, and all the support definitely means a lot. Sometimes we hear it's fun, but sometimes we hear it's kind of a pain too, right? Like people asking for tickets and probably, <laughs> yeah. probably more responsibilities and yeah. stuff like that. It, it's yeah, that's that's true. Uh, but 20, 21 fights in the UFC, which is crazy. It's twenty my twenty first fight, so uh, I, I think people kind of know the drill now. They're like no one even calls me anymore. Like the week of the fight, they're like I hate it. Yeah. Like, but no, it's it, it's good. You know, obviously the the family the family gets tickets, so they're excited. I'm excited. You know, it's a it's. It's been a relaxing week. It's been good. Very nice. Quick turnaround from the last one. I just wondered, was yeah. was the quick turnaround like because of the opportunity to fight here? Or was it more like frustration? Because I know you were feeling good going into that, and, right, right. and, and you know, one moment changes everything. Right. Yeah, it was both. Definitely both. I think uh, certainly a lot of frustration after that last fight. Um, you know, and, and again, accountability is completely on me. You know, I mean, you, it's one of those sports where there's no room for error. You know, you, you make you make a single mistake and it could cost you the night, cost you the fight, cost could cost you a world title. I mean, that's just the reality of the sport. Um, yeah, I've been doing this a long time. 2005 I started fighting, so it's uh, nothing new. You know what I mean? That's that's what uh, you know. Mixed martial arts is. It's, it's a lot of adversity. It's a lot of a. It's a lot of making adjustments. You know, pivoting, moving forward. But that's things you have to continue moving forward. Um, yeah, there was a lot of progression, a lot of progress and progression uh, leading up to the last fight. Um, you know, I got a little complacent. It just, it just literally got complacent in a position. Um, I, I didn't. I was. I was happy. The longer the fight went, the better. I mean, it was one of those kind of. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I kind of got relaxed. You know, made a mistake and paid for it. You know what I mean? But yeah, that, that was definitely part of the plan. Um, I, I when I when I figured they were coming to Lincoln, I was like, this is obviously a great opportunity. Um, you know, and, and, and Dana Dana gave it to me, so I was, I was very grateful for that. Very nice. Tough, tough match up here with another tough guy. I mean, he's had some ups and downs yeah. as well, but he can definitely perform at a high level. What, what, what do you think about the matchup itself? Definitely. Uh, I, I, I think it's great. I think it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of those, I mean, they're, in reality, there's no easy fight. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no cakewalk fight at this level, but I think, uh, you know, there's, there's some parity there. My, my brother's fought him. That, I, I love that. I, I, I'm very familiar with him. I, you know, I was in the corner when Joe fought him. And, uh, yeah, he's no easy fight. He's, he's definitely a tough, a tough guy. Um, yeah, like I said, for, for me, it's just to uh, continue moving forward. It, it, it's pro pro progressing, and uh, yeah, I, th I think the best is going to come out for me on Saturday night. All right, so the last thing for me, I just want to ask you kind of what you feel like the stakes of this fight are. I mean, you're you're still a young guy, but you got a lot, you know, a lot of fights under your belt. You know, I know a lot of people say, "Hey, man, is it time? Is it time?" And do you feel like that's that's what you got to prove here that it's not time that you still got a lot left? Well, you know, it, it's I, I do get asked that a lot, but it, it's it's kind of a trap because it, it, for me, it's I. I, I I, I never think more pa past more than one fight, and, 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 and a lot of people do, and, they, and it gets you in trouble. I've, I've done it before. I mean, you know, from from going on seven fights, seven fight one streak in a row, you start looking at like five, you know, too far down the road, and, and you get caught in that trap. But uh, you know, for me, it's always it's always one fight, one fight at a time. You know, how you feeling? How, how's everything? How's the body working? Um, but yeah, like I said, there, there was a lot of progression in the last six months, a lot of a lot of progress. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see that last fight. That would that which was a lot of. The reason I want to get right back in right away, um, and in here we are. I think Saturday I get to prove and show that, and, and a lot of that's going to come out Saturday. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be here. <laughs> Being a uh, you know a local, you know the crowd's probably going to be a little bit different for you. How do you kind of use that to your advantage? Or I mean, is a, is a crowd even a factor in your fights? Uh, not, not really. I, I think it's a definitely a positive. Um, I think this will be definitely a positive uh, influence for me. You know, uh, a lot of the, like I said, the support from the family, friends, and, and uh, you know, definitely a, a hometown crowd. But uh, yeah, it, I try not to play. You know what I mean? It's one of those mm -hmm. double-edged swords. Right? I try not to play too much into it either way. It's like you, they could all hate you, they all love you. It doesn't, doesn't matter. You still got to fight. <laughs> you want them to boo the hell out of Brian anyway, though. <laughs> I'm sure they will, but it really did. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Hey Jay, did you change anything going into this fight with your back being kind of against the wall? Uh, a strategy, yeah, a little bit. There's some, there's definitely um, trained some small stuff strategy-wise, but as, as far as training, no, not really. You know, I, I did a lot of uh, I did a lot of training with uh, Rafael dos Anjos for this fight. Um, you know, him being him being a, a, fen a phenomenal southpaw and, and one of the best natural southpaws in the game, uh, and he's a pressure guy. So it's it's he helped me out a lot. 
I got a great, a great look from him. Um, but yeah, as far as uh, making adjustments, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. <laughs> I guess he fought, you know, your brother Joe, I know you touched on him back in 2014, mm -hmm. and I believe that was Brian's first fight in the UFC. Right. And um, what did you take from that fight, and how has that been motivation during your training camp and leading up to this fight? Yeah, well, you know, and, and certainly a lot of things change in, in four years. But, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I did get, you know, familiar with him, um, even as far as, you know, what he does well, you know, what he, what, where he has some holes, where there's things we can take advantage of him. Um, but I think... You know, I'm sure he's evolved. Uh, I would certainly hope so. You know, he's still he's still competing at this level. I'm sure he's he's had to evolve. But uh, yeah, like I, like I said, I've, I've gotten familiar with him. Um, so it's him. You, you can't put too much into game plan or strategy. You know, you, you certainly gotta have a good strategy and be able to make adjustments on the fly. That's really what the game's about. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm very very familiar with him, and I, and I and I and I know you know I know what he what he does well. So it's a lot of for me staying on my toes and and, and being on my A game. But no, and maybe hey, you beat my brother. Like, do you feel like hey, you know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go out there and yeah. maybe get him for you a little bit, if you will, you know? Or oh, yeah, sure, for sure. You know, that, that's it was. You know, when his name uh, got brought up, I was like, absolutely. You know, I, I'd, I'd love to. It's it, it is. It's one of those. You know, a little bit. There's obviously there's there's a this is some family family heritage there in history. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm excited for that. That that makes it even uh, just makes it that much more of a match, but more and more exciting, more uh, you know, more that. That, that passion, that fuel. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess follow that. You have 45 fights um, and 33 years old, correct? And um, so what, what's your driving force from, let's that, say, the beginning of your fighting career, what, 2005 till now? How is, you know, what's your driving force now and how has that evolved over time? And where do you see yourself moving forward from here? Well, um, you know, like, like, like I said, it's, uh, I, I enjoy, I really enjoy. I, I think that's what it comes down to. You know, it's if you don't love every day what you're doing, you know, it's time, it's time to make a make a change. But I do. I, I have, I love fighting. I love competing. I love training. Um, everything about it. You know, and, and there's, there's, you know, reality. There's gonna be a day where I wake up and I don't. But not, you know, that's not right now. You know, I, I, I absolutely love it. Um, and, and like I, I think, I think as you know, you grow, you get older and you, you mature. You definitely realize. Um, like I've said before, there's no room for error. You, you have to be always alert, always sharp. You know what I mean? And, and, and I, I get a lot of that just, you know, from a lot of the guys I train with that, that are at the top of the game and, and just seeing how they make adjustments and, and more so prepare, even just keep continually preparing smarter, preparing harder, uh, more intelligently. So that, that's, that's helped a lot.